Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Vagante. I am gonna be playing as the knight, and I will admit, I'm not very good, I think, at playing as the knight, but I'm gonna give it a shot here. I got I gotta say, you know, I, I really enjoy playing as the rogue. I think the rogue might be my my favorite character in the game. You have so many good ranged capabilities and attacks. It just seems like a great character to play as, but we'll we'll give the knight a try here. I mean, what I should do is give myself some sword skill points immediately. Apparently the sword skills are really good, especially when you get quick draw, because you can just get up in front of an enemy and just slice, 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 slice. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do about this? <laughs> like, this is a weird situation. I gotta drop my sword <laughs> in order to set off the trap. <laughs> so I don't get hit by it. That's that's kind of ridiculous, but I couldn't think of any other way of, of dealing with that situation, unfortunately. Now what I'm gonna try to do as the knight here is I'm gonna try to you know, make sure I'm using my aerial movement to hit enemies. I'm gonna try to slide the first point in the sword tree, uh, this one right here, gives me a slide attack, which means I do more damage when I'm sliding, so I want to try to slide into enemies when I'm hitting them, whenever possible. And if I can one-hit kill most enemies, I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. Controller feels a little bit delayed for some reason, but hopefully it's just my brain. There we go. So I want to, I want to kill all these guys before I fight the boss here. Like I will admit, it's really nice being able to one-hit kill these enemies initially. We'll just see if we can keep that up. This boss is not going to be too tough. We can kill him. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. I like stunned him for a second. He was confused as to what he should do with his life. There we go. I really don't want to fight this guy in the water. I don't know if I can do my sword sliding attack in the water. Oh my god, you are like the worst. Oh, no! <laughs> I saw it coming a mile away. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of defensive abilities right now. I know I can get a block, so if I hold down, I will avoid taking some damage. But I'm gonna pick that up later. I'm gonna just focus on the sword skills initially. Although, you know what? I might actually get one point in defense, because I, I would need to kind of get used to using my defensive ability, you know? So maybe that's what I should do. Get one point in defense, so I get used to it. Move the microphone a little bit more away from my face. And then we can just focus on upgrading our sword attacks. Compass. Death protection? <gasps> Berserker Kytus, which actually seems like it might be pretty good as this character, you know? I don't need to worry so much about I should have also put them on the Shackled Shrine. I don't need to worry so much about getting Berserk. Because I'm a melee character, what do I care? Being Berserk will probably be good for me. It means I do more damage, I think, right? Let's not slide into the spikes. <laughs> I do want the one coin. Oh, God damn it! Well, I want these coins now. Wand of Digging. That is actually fantastic. I, I keep getting Wands of Digging and then never using them, or like Wands of Frost or something. The Wand of Digging is really freaking good though. If we find a boss fight that we are having a hard time killing, we can just use the Wand of Digging and hopefully, not, not really a, I guess, killing, but like getting around the level or something. We can just use the Wand of Digging to open up some holes and then jump through the, the level however we want. Pretty nice. There's nothing above me, so 
There's no reason to go up there. I've already opened the chest. We have two items. Wand of digging. Put that over there. Guess I'll put my sword down here too. My one arrow. <laughs> we do need to get a bow at some point. Now I don't have enough money really to buy any of those items that were up there. I I'm gonna check again. Admittedly, now that I understand a little bit more about what the late game involves, you know, and I should also say that I am very sad about how the last run ended, but now that I understand a little bit more about how the late game works, I feel like I do understand the value of things like poison resist, fire resist, lightning resist gear, uh, feather fall, uh, freaking breathing underwater, swimming like a fish. A lot of these modifiers that I thought were just not very good for the game actually all of a sudden become pretty damn useful to have. So I very much... Sure, we'll get one point in defense so I can block. I, I very much understand... I th oh, I didn't mean to use the wand of digging! <laughs> I very much understand now why it's probably a good idea to hold on to a lot of varied pieces of equipment. And I think this is going to be the worm boss, or is that going to be the the dragon boss down there. It's actually kind of hard to tell. I guess the worm boss would be rolling around right now, wouldn't he? Yeah. Hey. Thank you. I don't know if light feet actually works to prevent this guy from getting to me, from seeing me, waking up the dragon. I like us. Oh, I grab walls. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, your thing. Is that it? I think that's it. There's not even anything over there. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna have to fight this guy, like, right now. Uh, where's a good place to fight him? Probably just like literally right up here. So let's try to let's try to lure him up here. I would like to maybe open that chest before I fight him. Oh, I got a bow! That's actually really nice. I needed that. And I don't really care if it's cursed. I'm hoping I can do a lot of damage to him. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. The sword is working out. Like, we're killing things extremely quickly, a lot faster than we would if we were playing the rogue. I feel like the rogue is one of those characters that gets stronger later in the game. While the knight is one of those characters that maybe starts off strong and stays strong-ish, but maybe doesn't get as potentially strong. I don't know. Flame Aura, Compassionate Familiar, we do not need either of those items. I do need some poison resist and fire resistance, so I understand why it's good to have that stuff now. Because of that damn chimera. It's not a manticore, it's a chimera. Different mythological creature that also has a body of a lion and various other body parts attached to it. <laughs> it was a, the manticore is... Oh, God damn it! The manticore has just the body parts are changed. The chimera has body parts that are duplicates. Like, the chimera has multiple bodies. Like, one being a lion, one being a... a a goat. I thought the trap had already gone off. There was money up there. And I got the arrow back. Uh, but the... Yeah. So the manticore has the head of a head of a human, body of a lion, and tail of a scorpion or something like that. While the chimera actually has, like, multiple body segments from various other animals. So, slightly different. Anyways. Fairy lady. Like usual? Oh, I certainly hope that we can find maybe a uh, blood shrine, sacrifice this lady, get some permanent stat upgrades. Okay. I didn't realize my sword went through walls. 
did a little backward slide there. How do you how'd feel about that, huh? This was very strange. Like, I just, what? I was wondering if it was like an accidental pork chop or something. No, it's just, hey, here's some, <laughs> here's some secret walls you can break for seemingly no reason. Sure, okay, I mean. Did I fight the boss? I did. So we need to make sure that we do not open the chest. We need to make sure that we keep the key. Oh, oh. Okay, you're gonna fall and blow up. Do your thing. Gray scroll. I am red with rage. It does make you faster. You need to be careful of that. That's how I lost the last run. I was too fast. Too furious. And we are done. So, I don't think there was anything in the shop that I wanted. Let's make sure we use the key here and don't forget about it. Let's go grab Fairy Lady. I wonder if I can fall onto spikes and hold down. <laughs> Does one of these give me immunity to spikes? No, immunity to fall damage with one level of holy. Which might be pretty good for the jungle level, I will admit. Let's get Fairy Lady. Let's get Woo. Let's get one of these. Uh, as for shrines, there is that shrine of random chance, which I guess we could dump some stuff into. I I'm gonna keep. I'll keep what I have. I'll keep what I have. If we find a smithing shrine, maybe we can dump this flanged mace and these boots. Minus one cold resist, but trailblazer. Uh, you know what, there's a lot of cold attack in the next zone, so let's actually keep those off. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky. In fact, hold on a second. Fairy lady, you stay there. Perfect. Okay. Just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, okay. So there's our vitality upgrade. We're up to 110 HP. Get our cooked eye. Get a point in. Sword. So now we have a down attack and we have an upward slash. Interestingly, I can... I can slide with the upward sword attack, which is kind of cool. And we have a bow. Let's let's equip it. Multi shot minus one minus one dexterity. Multi shot is actually pretty fantastic, but the minus one dexterity is kind of crappy. Book of magic missiles not very good. I gotta think with that multi shot. Maybe I actually just don't even want to equip it. Because with multi-shot, you know, we fire off three arrows, which is going to be bet, you know, better for us even with the penalty of minus one dex. But minus one dex also, shit, also means that maybe we uh, don't block some shots. You know, because there is that sort of innate block that you have in the game where you can sometimes just, a shot will miss you straight up. Straight up. Also, could you like, not do that, please. Uh oh. I tried to hold down to block his shot a couple of times. That guy actually doesn't seem that bad. I shouldn't worry about him so much. You, on the other hand. I need to be using the upward slice more is what I need to be using. It's, it's actually really good. It gives you a lot of... Uh, Gives you, oh, you can turn. Get out of here, oh my god. There we go. <laughs> that upward slice gives you a lot of extra sort of time to hit an enemy. That's what I need to do, get up in their face. This is why I wanted that point of defense, by the way, so I can practice blocking shots. 
Admittedly though, these flying jerks are kind of annoying. Oh, God damn it! Look at how many there are! I can't kill these guys and I'm frozen. And I fell. God damn it. I... I actually can't even get out of this place now. Stop it! Jesus! <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun jumping around on these guys, but there's so many of them. Also, ah, uh, ah, uh, he jumped on my head. I gotta get out of here. I don't wanna get caught down below again. Like, they just keep getting way too high. I actually, like, I can't hit these guys when they're this high. I gotta wait for them to come down a little bit. Yet another, you know, benefit of having a rogue, potentially. Ugh. Gotcha. Gotcha. I like this. Can I glitch out bosses like this? If I hit him just in the back, I get full damage. Nice. Okay, I'm learning a little bit, maybe. Make sure we collect as many resources as we can before we have to worry about the boss. Oh. Okay, you just like float. Flip with the gentlest of ease. If I get lucky, I can hit this guy in the back. <laughs> yes, right here. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Now, if there's any more of these freaking... Oh, okay, these guys teleported. Any more of these freaking jerks that make it impossible for me to hit them, I'll be annoyed. Light is very nice to see. We should be able to leave the floor with full health. Ooh, bloody plus light is really nice. Here's hoping we can get some extra HP and some extra stat levels. Missed. I want to knock out that platform before I fight the boss, just in case I need to move in that general direction. No, 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 I want it like this. There we go. Let's see if I can hit the teleport pad right there. There we go. Now that that's been deactivated, I can make my way over here. I guess that's all, that's another Reason maybe why I should potentially go for. Hello. A point in holy. It would be nice to be able to. Oh, I tried to block it, but I was stuck in my attack animation. Alright, you know what? A point in holy would prevent me from taking any sort of fall damage, which would be kind of nice. Right, but we're done. We've killed all the enemies, except for the boss. The boss is kind of annoying, but probably no less annoying that we are the knight as opposed to the rogue. Same damn attacks, we just gotta keep moving back and forth, running away from him when he teleports so we don't get frozen, try to hit him as hard as we can. We have this basic ass sword, which is not very good. Subtly increases weapon reach is probably gonna be better for us than lightning resist. Although I should keep these gloves because they have lightning resist. And because they have grab walls, which we will want for the jungle, I imagine. Hey, come here. Okay. It's gonna be tough to hit this guy, actually. Oh, oh I got frozen! He's 
I'm just gonna do an AOE freeze. Like, how am I even supposed to hit him here? Oh, I guess I just jump and hit him. I would really like to have something that gives me a, uh, higher jump, maybe? I imagine that would be useful. Berserk! We gotta go! This is our moment to, to hit him hard. Oh! Oh, my God, got me. Only for one point of damage, though. He doesn't hurt that much when he just does that AoE freeze. But, like, where he is right there, I can't even hit him. Oh, what? Un uh I st stood in a very bad spot, because there's actually no way I could really get away from him, unfortunately. Okay. I missed. Hey, get away. Ooh. Another one? No, just the two. There we go, he's dead. Dropped its crown. I really wish I could pick up his crown. It would be like a unique item. And unfortunately, we can't do that. Get some potions. Ring of Celtioc. Absolutely. Love to have it. Plus two strength, plus two vitality, plus one fire resist. Minus two dexterity, but you know what? We're not a dex build. Does that affect my melee damage at all? I'm looking at the right column here. 41402. Three, two, four, two, two. Four, so four, oh, four, one, two. So it's gonna slow our, it's gonna lower our attack speed and range damage, but it's gonna increase our melee damage by one point. Probably the minus two dex counteracts one of the plus two to strength. Either way, it's, it's a good pickup. Plus we can see all of the hidden enemies. We don't need to worry about eyeballs on the catacombs levels. We'll be able to see all of the zombies and the wall master hands. Oh, it's so nice. And with a little bit of added dex, not dexterity vitality, I can sacrifice some of my HP away and see what we can what we can get. Oh, there's a freaking! I see him. Hold up. Let me let me shoot at him with my minus three dex build. I got him. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I should really only put this bow on when I need it, do the minus stats that it gives me. Um, you get the first ones, you gotta pay for. Hey, right, come here. No. Oh, I thought you were gonna die! I tried to do like the, uh, the slice attack, but it only did four damage, even though I was sliding it for it. All right, show me your skills, that's dex up. Show me your strength which is what we want, because we are a strength build, not a dex build. And we'll heal up. I'll spend a bunch of money on this. I, that's what I'm looking for, 15, 12. I hope that I'll be fine on the next couple of floors, regain my HP after the boss fights or something like that. I'm not gonna worry so much about my HP right now. I think it was probably worth it in order to get a couple of stat bonuses, but I'll, I'll keep my, uh, my HP as it is, I won't play that anymore. We need a chicken is what we need. We need some potions of healing. Now, is there any other shrine that I missed? I think there was a, yeah, deranged, which I don't really want to do anything with. I have a lot of these potions. So I'm gonna try to identify. No, that's uncurse. That's magic mapping. I have no multiple scrolls of identification. What? Well, that sucks. <laughs> I really wanted some scrolls of identification here so I could see what the hell I'm doing. You know, a fire wand could also be quite helpful. You know, maybe against a couple of bosses we might want to light them on fire or something. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to dump anything in there. I could dump some scrolls of uncurse and see what we get. Or some eyeballs, for that matter. If we have the Ring of Zeltiok, we don't really need eyeballs. You know what?
Am I on fire? I think I took like one point of damage from that. Take this! Armor! We don't have any armor! Plus one dex, plus one vitality! Sweet! Thank you, mysterious stranger! <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you selling? I kind of just want to drink one of those potions. Like, we have three of them. It's not going to be a potion of poison, right? Okay. I had to check. I, I figured it would probably be a good potion. And because I drank it, I am going to play the blood shrine one more time and then we'll leave. I think this is fine. I mean, it's good to know that I have multiple potions of regeneration. <laughs> so we spent 99 HP skills, that's dex. We spent 99 HP getting two dex up and one strength up. As long as we don't die, it's worth it. Let's move on. Although I am gonna burn this corpse and get another cooked eyeball, why not? Let's go sword. This is really the one we want. Fourth level sword, quick draw. We'd be able to t attack very quickly. Like this attack right now where we just hold our attack button down, I'm probably not gonna use that, that that often. I just want... Let's put the bow next to it. Uh, I just want that wonderful, wonderful quick draw ability. It's basically just a faster attack rate, I believe. Easy shot, but I do see an enemy who's got me in his sights. Not anymore. He's he's just standing there. So let's check out the shop. Book of Eloquence. I've never seen a book in a shop. Damage to gold hammer. I mean, we unfortunately we've got a sword build, right? Like our character is made for swords. In fact, the skill is called sword. <laughs> so you know we can't really do anything with that, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, but it's not that unfortunate. Let's see what we've got here. Glass blade. It's just a standard glass blade. Uh, flanged mace. It's a standard flanged mace. Freezing coated with poison. Slow enemies coated with poison. Okay. I need a new sword. I really need a new sword. I need to find a way to kill this guy, too. I can't really hold down on him. <laughs> I mean, I could use the staff of fireballs that I picked up, potentially. Oh, it's a chicken! No, 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 no. Chicken, chicken, you are staying right here. I don't want the chicken to walk in the shop, like through the locked door, because then it might be hard to get the chicken back, but it looks like the chicken's gonna stay put. Good, 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 good. Hey, come here. Oh! Oh! Well, they died somehow. <laughs> I got money from their deaths. What, what was it? Uh, attackers will sometimes be shocked and the shocking was in the water, so it did a lot of extra damage or something silly like that. Yeah. You know what I should do? Make sure to take one of these, uh, Piranha corpses to the exit because I think I can get make like a temporary potion of being able to swim a lot better Which might be good for that level that we find in the future with all the nasty stuff You gonna jump towards me? Nope. I want this Go away. There we go. Okay I gotta be a lot more aggressive, but I don't like being a lot more aggressive. I do hate that when I can barely see the enemy, they no longer appear red, like this spider over here. I can't see him at all, but he's like, oh, you can totally see him. No. No. Another Shrine of the Bloody. You know, this guy might be worth using that charge attack on.
subtly increases weapon reach, I think, is really helping me out here. It's not a lot. I mean, it is very subtle, as the, the name says. But it is really nice. Also, thank you. Now we got Plant Man. Come here. This is going to take a while if I'm doing one point of damage to him every <laughs> cycle. <laughs> but the, the problem is, is that I do want to kill him before I fight the boss, because if I'm fighting the orb guy who chases me down, I want to make sure that this guy is dead. This freaking plant man. Hey, I hit him for two. Oh god, he gets so close. I've got to have a better way of dealing with this. Like, can I just multi-shot this guy? You know, I only needed to do one damage multiple times. Okay. I would really like to just hit the, uh, the core, hit the plant base. But I don't think I can. Yeah, just I'll die eventually. Just keep pumping him full of arrows. We got most of them back, anyways. All right. Yeah, depending on the boss I fight, I might want to use that area as an escape. There's a lot of extra level here, and another. Nice little shrine. Is it like covered in mushrooms or something? This stupid spider. Oh god, you freaking poisoned me, you freaking dumbass spider. Whatever, I'll jump on your head. I should have just done that to begin with. I completely forgot about that ability. A plant man. Shouldn't be too tough. This is probably gonna be identification scroll. Plant man shouldn't be too tough. Just gotta chase him down and hit him. I am raged. Oh, I got myself poisoned. I thought I would have a little bit more time before the poison kind of activated, but I guess not. Oh, come on. On. It only hit me for one. But I thought I had actually uh, gotten the hidden on that base thing. Oh my god, like, I don't get it! I'm, I'm like, not doing enough damage to kill these, these uh, plants in one shot. Like, normally I am when I'm playing the rogue. Why am I not killing them in one shot as the freaking knight? I am in berserk mode, but... I don't know, I don't know how to go after this guy. I wish I had something that gave me healing. Let's see what this ring is. Oh, this ring is fantastic. Plus two damage, plus one dex, one poison resist, plus one vitality. We have... Three fire resistance, but only one poison resistance. Three fire resistance is quite nice. Could you stop summoning little dudes? This is perfect. Get out of here. Jump out of the water, please. I can't jump out of the water when I've got my sword charged. I wanted to keep the charge. Oh. No, you they went through the water. <laughs> I guess my arrows can go through the water. Why can't the spines from the boss? God damn it. Whatever, whatever. He's dead. That wasn't too bad. We have a shrine of the light. Another chicken? Another chicken. Wish that we actually did not have another chicken. One chicken per level, please.
I can't carry both the piranha and the chicken, but you've gotta, you gotta say that the chicken's probably more important. Also, I can't get up there. Doesn't look, look like there's anything up there anyways, but I can't get up there. We're definitely not gonna be using that shrine of the bloody though, unless I find a pork chop. Even then, probably not. All right, let's uh, open the chest, get some items, get the hell out. Should I save the key? Like, if I save the key, will the next floor's chest also be able to be opened? Because if I do that, won't I get better quality of equipment if I wait? I think I might. But I'm not entirely sure how the system works, you know? I have a lot of bad equipment. Guitar. Boots of terribleness. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep these gloves. I mean, grab walls is nice, but these gloves are pretty sweet. And I imagine, imagine this is gonna be identification, so I'm gonna use it. Potion of lowered lightning resists. Lightning bolt. Uh, apply to this one. Lower intelligence. Mm, no. Okay, um, guess I'll just pick up everything I can, bring it to the next level, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll be able to use it. I have 150 max HP. That's kind of ridiculous. And I've only got 60 right now. <laughs> Need some more HP. Can I get down here? Oh, that's something I should have done also, is, you know, use my damn you can block things button, holding down. I can't get down there, I can't get that chest, unfortunately. I need something that lets me jump really high. See, that's what I was afraid of. I can hear the chicken, there he, there he is. <laughs> Luckily there was another chicken though. I just, like, I couldn't, I couldn't leave that chicken outside, he would have gotten killed. We'll see if we can find a shrine of, I always want to call it the Shrine of the Random, but it's the Shrine of the Deranged. Just looking for pork chops. Let's heal up. Costs a bit of money, but... It's probably worth it, honestly. The HP is more important. Like, I do buy things occasionally from shops, but... Being able to survive, you know, the freaking Dragon Lord, the Chimera Lord, is gonna be pretty important for us. In fact, I might, might wanna burn a book. You know, Eloquence, I have a couple of magic missiles. So let's uh, let's burn this book so I can pick up the chicken and not have to worry about my items at all. We finally have Quick Draw. The charge takes the same length of time, but now I can spam my attack much, much, much faster. I don't know if the attack speed of four is after that upgrade we just picked up. Either way, it's fantastic. I do have potions of healing, by the way. I could use those instead of spending money, but I wanted, I decided to spend the money. Oh. oh. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Jumped on my head, and then he shot me super quickly. That's not how that works. I'm supposed to be able to kill you. Also, this is so much better having quick draw. Good lord. Like, I can actually kill things. <laughs> uh, that's another thing we can't use right now. I did activate the boss. I think it is the guy who runs around and bounces a whole bunch. Yeah. Which honestly might be the easiest guy for me to fight. Since I'm a melee character, I, maybe I can get up, hit him, block his, his, uh, his BS. Okay, this is perfect. That's a mimic. It's like the second Mimic on one run. Sometimes I don't see any Mimics. This time we're seeing a whole bunch. Hey, Spider. Oh, wow, you shot that really high and really hard. I saw you. I can jump on your head and kill you with one downwards thrust. 
I feel happy about that. Let's drop all this garbage so we can pick up some items on this level. Fire wand. I already have a fire wand. And what is this? Is this poison wand? I got so much garbage. Okay. Hey, ho. You do not move that fast, buddy. Uh, we already have a, a necklace, a amulet, or whatever you want to call it. We don't need that. Hey. Okay, I really like that. He's bouncing on his head like four times in a row. A couple of bad po- Wow! Oh, I thought I had three more, no. Still bad potions. Another scroll of identify. I'm just gonna use it right now. I should probably wait until I have, you know, multiple potions of something, but when I finally get a good potion, I wanna be able to use it immediately. God damn it. That's a really good ability, just jumping on someone's head and doing a lot of damage. Like, against this boss, that might even be awesome. Like, that might be how I kill this boss, is just jumping on his head a whole bunch. These guys I want to come after me one at a time. Here's a spider. Gotcha. You tried to get me, but you didn't. That quick draw, man, it lets me get in there and hit enemies super quickly. That's what I was missing out on. Okay, admittedly, when I'm bouncing on someone's head, it's pretty hard to do a downwards thrust attack. <laughs> I might also wanna dump some books in here to try to get a new book, like a book of freezing. You can't get me. Oh. Oh, you got me, and I can't not get out of here. Okay, you hit me really hard, and I'm stuck. I might get crushed to death, just right here. Please don't crush me. You did not crush me. You did hit me for 29. Oh, God. Okay, well, we're stuck in here again. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God, he hit for 40. Yeah, I um, actually am just stuck in the corner. Yeah, this was a dumb idea. This was very dumb and stupid, and you shouldn't do this. I killed him. I lived. But holy cow, he hits for fucking 40. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Also, I do not want three books of magic freaking missile. Come on. Take a couple of these books. Dude, I'm dumping them. I'm dumping these books trying to get a book of freezing. I don't care if it's Ice Ball or the other one. Book of Eloquence. No! You just gave me a freaking scroll and a book. Book of Dash. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Okay, take the Book of Dash. Take some scrolls. Scrolls do count for points, so... Give you some scrolls of Uncurse. Give me another tan scroll, whatever this thing does. Probably like... Recharge, or maybe it's gonna be a, um, an enchant. It is an enchant, so you know what? That's three positive enchantments. Okay, I mean, that worked. Dump another scroll of Uncurse. Ano what is with these? Ugh. Give me the same dumbass book over and over again. Book of Lightning. Okay, that's at least a good book, a good spell to know. Maybe Magic Missile would have been better to have, you know, the level three or something, but Jesus! These books are terrible. These books suck. At least I have a spell now, though. Oh, I wasted the charge. <laughs> I'm always worried when this guy comes towards me quickly. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh. 
That didn't, I mean, not a lot of damage. It did some damage. You know what? Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. This is probably where the, yep, the chest is gonna be. There's a, there is a shrine of madness. So maybe we can use that. Don't move. Thank you. You're hiding anything? Hiding some, hiding some pork chops? I don't want to fight the next boss on half health. Although I have 160 HP now. I don't know how it keeps going up. I just, I look away and I look back and then we've gotten more max health. It's like, what the hell? All right, let's go and dump some of this garbage into that shrine over there. We'll come back for the rest of this stuff later. I didn't see any shrines of shackled, so I don't think I can dump anything into those, but we have this shrine over here. And I wanted to make sure I spent the key so I didn't accidentally, uh, you know, open the chest here. Shrine of the Deranged, okay. Here's some potions. I am on fire. And now I have, like, a magic buff? Yes. I can never remember what that one is. The fire only hurt me for like three points of damage because I have three fire resistance. I have scrolls of uncurse, so let's just equip everything. Coins heal. I really like that. I'm gonna need the mace. I wanna see if maybe I can find another piece of equipment that that has fire resistance. Because then I can be completely immune to fire. Attacking that Chimera is going to be a lot, lot easier. Or poison resistance, but the, uh, the tail end of that guy doesn't attack as often, I think. There's also a smithing altar here. And a couple more enemies to kill. That's a secret wall. We destroyed it. I mean, I've got all these arrows. I've got a multi-shot bow. It's not the worst usage. Although right now, if I can get lucky, yep. Get a critical hit on the plant and kill him super quickly. Why do I have my not correct weapon out? You. I think we are done though. I don't see anything else down here except for the shop. So let's go to the shrine here and dump some garbage. Glass blade, it's not a sword. So no. Face lard, it's not a sword. Throw hard gauntlets, uh, no. Trailblazer boots, minus one cold resist. I mean, it's not that bad. Cold resist is kind of pointless. I, I don't think anything else in the game uses cold attacks, but you know those mages in the rift do. But we'll we'll equip it for now. Guitar. We don't need this. Coins heal. I do need to uncurse myself, but let's equip this helmet first. Coins heal plus two luck minus one speed as opposed to Dex vitality. Coin seal is probably going to be that that much more important. So I think we're going to keep coin seal. Yeah. Book of eloquence can't do anything with that. Freezing aura helmet. Grab walls. Lightning resist. Uh, there's my other pair of gloves. God, I got a okay. Fire wand. We don't need two. This is this wand of pestilence? You know, maybe it's going to be a nice ranged attack that I can use. Attackers will sometimes be shocked. Dex, speed, and defense. Like, if I'm in a fight, I might want that instead of coin seal, like if I'm in a boss fight. So maybe we'll keep the armor. Right, I... Oh. 
I said this earlier, I need to be paying attention to if anything has resistance modifiers and keeping that equipment. I am kind of failing in that regard. Although this helmet, you know, we don't have a helmet and this one also gives us a... Uh, a bit of poison resist, so it's not that bad. We're at three fire resist, two poison resist. For the, the jungle area, it's actually kind of good. Unequip the bow. I want to leave it up here by the potion. This is just inventory management now. Give me a sec. <laughs> this is what we want. This is what we want. And this is the rest of our garbage. Although I do have another scroll of identify, which I'm just going to use. <sighs> These fucking potions. Give me good potions, please. Is there a shrine of the uh, being able to heal, heal yourself by spending money? I'd like it if there was. While we have this Shrine of the Deranged, let's dump some of our uh, garbage potions into it, I guess. Drop, drop. Didn't light me on fire? Did not light me on fire, all right. And you know what, have a, have a magic, uh, the scrolls I'm gonna keep because I might wanna burn them. And in fact, I might wanna burn this book too. Unfortunately, we haven't picked up anything that grants us a freezing spell, but not much I can do about that, unfortunately. So I think we're done. I don't remember seeing a Shrine of the Light that was on the last level. I remember now it was on the right side and it was kind of in a weird place. We took the chicken from the last level, good. Did I pick up the chicken dinner or did I forget about it? No, 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 we had the, the lady earlier, the fairy, and then we, we, right, we took her to the end. All right, I guess we're done with this floor, so let's get the hell out of here. There's no water, so there's no piranhas, unfortunately, but that's okay. Decent fire resist, decent poison resist. I would have loved to have picked up, you know, one more point of fire resist to make us completely immune. That's all right. I am gonna burn the book, and I'm gonna burn magic mapping. Just one, just one magic mapping. I want a few of them. Okay. Become immune to knockback when taking damage, gaining recharging defensive shield, correctly timed blocks will reflect attack damage, some attacks will be automatically blocked. Seems like defense is the way to go. No damage from falling is nice, but it's not that important for us now. You know, the catacombs doesn't really have a lot of falling. Attacks cannot kill you unless your HP is zero. I mean, I guess that's good. That's really good if you have anything that gives you healing. But I'm, I guess I'm just gonna go up the defense tree. We have 81 HP, that's not that bad. This area does suck though, and especially with those flame turtles. We might have a bit of a problem. This game is really dark. Can I increase the gamma, like, for me? <laughs> Gamma correction. Doesn't do anything. I guess because I have it in like a full screen mode or something. Or maybe I have to enable shader. Hey! Now hopefully I remember to cancel the gamma adjustment in Premiere. It's not targeting him. Hey! I want the turtle to come to me because there is this, uh, there's these traps. I didn't see that trap over there on the right side. Where did he go? He's not on my uh, ring of Celtioc anymore. Is that a good thing? There he is. Is he burning? Or is he not burning because he's not on my screen? Now he's burning. It's weird, like if an enemy gets, if an enemy is, is too far away from you, the, the like status effects don't get applied to them, so like if they're in a trap, nothing happens. Even though I can see him, I have the ring on, but he's still not getting burned. I want him to burn. These guys are not immune to the fire. There we go, burn. Burn, that's right, you damn turtle. My hat must have freezing aura and I forgot about it. Can I just like stand right here? 
I mean, I could jump down there and hit him, or I could just let the fire kill him. Ah. If there was one enemy, oh, if there's one enemy, maybe, but because there's two of these freaking jerks. God damn it, it's like, I hate that. <laughs> the fire just does nothing if he's not technically visible. And it does so little damage anyways. If I stand here, I should be able to see him. Although now I have to go down and activate him again. It's a little wonky. I don't know if he got activated. He's, he's not burning because he's not on the screen. And I don't want to go fight him because he's a fire turtle. Fire turtles suck. I made this harder for myself than it should be. You know, there, there's a small safe spot right here. I think, yes. And there's a small safe spot right here. I don't know if that makes me immune to the, the fire, but if they do actual attacks, it should make me immune to those. Hey, fire turtle. Oh, I'm not immune to the fire, but I don't take a lot of fire damage, so that's, that's okay. In fact, I took two points, three points of fire damage, four points. Uh, five points. <laughs> Please don't light me on fire anymore. Well, you know, there's another option here, and that is use my bow. Use my bow, Mr. Knight. Or you know what I could do is I can freaking see this guy. I can try to shoot him with a bow from, from up there or down there. Ooh. Okay, uh, I at least froze him. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> that was not that bad. We did take, like, another five points of fire damage, but I lived, and... I, I'm glad I landed on that turtle's head. <laughs> Let's just say that. I could just do that, I guess. Just like, bonk! I don't know, multi-shot bow, even with all of these uh, dex downgrades, actually seems like it might do a decent amount of damage for me. I really wish I had just one more point of freaking fire resistance. Be completely immune to this BS. He is dead, okay. Gotta explore down here, I mean. Hey, come here. This is probably gonna be a little easier to, to cheese, because the saw is gonna keep the turtle moving, I think. Now, I probably should also get down here. Oh, maybe not. I mean, I guess I could also just not go this way. Have you ever thought of that as a possibility? Yeah, I mean, might be smart. I worry about, actually, that's the freaking boss right there, isn't it? I can see his freaking scorpion head right there. In the bottom left corner. Get out of here, you little jerk. Ugh, this, I mean, this is a dead end, but... Oh, actually, no, it's not a dead end. Look at this freaking turtle. Turtle, turtle. Whatever, we'll come back. guys don't get too close to you there's the boss though he, he's he's walking around I see he's pretty close you can kind of see it's ahead of a lot he's got like a head of a goat next to the lion head that's definitely a chimera not a manticore I don't have any Gloves of phasing, which were really nice last time. Where, where did you, he go? He slid backwards. Hello? He slid backwards so far, he went like off the damn level. Oh! The damn wall thing landed on me! No, get. Get a piece of garbage. Oh, this freaking level! 
I hate it. You're gonna give me one of those shrines. What is this? Like all of the... All of the, the tile sets changed right there. We're like back in the caves. Boulder protection, so important for the rift. Uh, but I like this hat, especially with the poison resistance. I'll keep this hat though. This is going in the keep pile, the temporary keep pile that I'll keep forever. You freaking money man! Oh God, coin seal, coin seal. Don't don't forget coin seal. You're not as screwed as you think you are all the time. What what is with what is with these enemies that slide away from me? I will say, having a multi-shot bow, even as a knight, is freaking wonderful. And there is a shrine that we can take advantage of. And there's another trap room there, unfortunately, so we gotta be careful of that. Right here, but we can we can handle this. Hey, trap me. There we go. There's the boss once again. Can't get to him. This area underneath me is very bright. Shine. Shine your light. Heaven, let your light shine through. Chest. I want items, man. I love items. Plus one fire resistance. We have done it. We have complete fire immunity. Hell yes. Now against those fire turtles, I can actually, like, fight them. And against these fire traps, I'm just completely immune to them. Oh, this is so good. It's exactly what I freaking wanted. Okay, that's not what I wanted. At least the trap hit him. Still, coins heal. We're up to 86. That's not bad. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, Fire Turtle, you're screwed. Although, there's still a, a saw blade trap, so we gotta be a little bit careful there. But this boss is gonna be a lot easier to take out. We are not very resistant to poison, unfortunately, but that's okay. Can't block in air, I guess. Not so much a problem as it is just something to keep in mind. Just wanted the uh, other scroll. Might as well. This looks like a trap room. Oh, it's just one of these rooms. All right, well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm completely immune to these fire traps now. Hey, jump, 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 fool. I dare you, jump. Yeah, that's, that's right. Jump. Yes. That's gonna help out, I suppose. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> So that's a dead end, unfortunately. I don't know if this hat is any good, besides the fact that it gives me fire resistance, but for now, it is the only hat I am ever gonna wear. Her HP is actually not that bad. Now this might be a bit tricky. This fire turtle down here. Oh, careful. I don't know if he does any other damage other than the fire attack is the thing. Like that's what I'm I'm considering is that if that's his only attack, then theoretically, oh, okay, I, I'll stand here and shoot you. If that's his only attack, then I'm completely immune to it. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe. Oh yes. And that's the exit. I, oh, I thought this was a saw blade. I thought his corpse was a saw blade for a second there. So this is probably going to lead to the chest of treasure. <laughs> That's right. This is the Shrine of the Shackled. I don't see any arrow traps. I see, yeah, another one of these. So many of these damn traps everywhere. Alright, in this case, I imagine now that the chest of items is going to be at the very bottom right past where we fight the boss. After berserking, you feel exhausted. I did not realize that happened. 
So if we run out of Berserk in the middle of a fight, we should probably run away and wait. The only thing we have to dodge here, it seems like, is the poison attack. We might, I might have to block, you know, hold down to defend against the leap from the lion. But this doesn't seem that bad. And I do have wands that I could potentially use in order to help out a little bit. Hell, if I wanted to, I could just like do a wand of digging here and make a hole so I can run around the boss. <sighs> Which I could do. I'm immune to fire, so I can pretty easily and quickly jump up here. Okay, yeah, don't don't hit the freaking arrow trap. Oh god. Yeah, so let's not come up here. I almost surprised myself with that one. What about up here? Ooh, money. Um again, another arrow trap, which I don't really like. I wish I just I knew had this area unmapped, because then I would just dig down and then use this as a, a loop, basically, to get around the boss. You know, because I worry about the boss being big and, and blocking my movement, so I can't really get around him. Because last time, I had this, these gloves of phasing, and I just phased through the walk, rock wall to get behind him. I can't really do that here. So I think I think I will use a charge on this wand of digging. It might even dig, like, straight up right here. Like, there. Oh, I can't reach it. Gotta do it again. There we go. So now I have a little path, and I did kind of break some of the blocks here, but I have a little path. I can make my way around. I can do this loop here, for instance. I come down, hit him, jump down, jump around, jump up, jump over. And I didn't activate this area, which I didn't want. Okay, this is good. Let's fight this guy. I jumped on his head. Oh god, he jumps through the level! I didn't know that! It's like, I need to wait for the chink from the, the uh, scorpion tail. That's my cue to go. So, ugh. I gotta, I gotta go while the saw blade is up. Just gotta wait for that to attack, then I can get in a hit. Oh yeah! Jump through the level again. Get, get over here! Why does he keep jumping through the level? It's very rude. Okay, you Get one. Oh, there's another one. I want to try to get the uh, the serpent to actually attack, you know? I want him to attack me, because that's my cue to get in there. Hey. <laughs> poor, poor Scorpion Tail. Like, he's trying to hit me, but he's just getting pulled around. <laughs> He's just trying to do his job, and, and this, this body is just not responding. I am stuck, which is unfortunate, but I got out. I only got hit by the poison once. That did kind of suck a little bit, though, but I did get a little bit stuck. I'm just going to see if I can jump down here and kill him with the bow. That was not bad at all. Can he not hit me from here? Yeah, it looks like his, he's not very accurate from where he's standing, so... Oh! Maybe he's more accurate than I thought. I'm not immune to poison, so I can't just tank it, like I did with the, uh, the fire attack. This multi-shot bow is freaking amazing. This is why I love multi-shot bows whenever I can get them. I will spend all of my money on healing. I do not mind. That was not bad. Not bad at all. I think it was a, a smart idea to make a path that I could loop around. That helped a lot. I just ran away from the boss and eventually I got him. Oh, right. I've also got to go kill that twirtle twirtle. Hey. 
Scroll of Enchant! This Ring of Celtioch is, is really nice right now. It does have a minus something to dex, I think. Oh, I jumped into his attack! Also, you're on my head, but it doesn't matter. Crossbow. Could be better than the bow, and honestly, I don't care about which one I get. Yeah. Ooh, but we lose out on the multi-shot. But we get plus one to speed. Tell you what, why don't we have both equipped? And... Oh, no. When I need to, I can switch to the crossbow for multi-shot. Otherwise... Otherwise, I can have this crossbow equipped for the extra stat bonuses. There we go. Thinking about the stats. Another scroll of uncurse. Exactly what I needed. Just what I needed. There we go. I just I, I gotta get this guy on my screen so he gets hit by the damn saw blades. I really don't like that. I wish that they got hit by the traps when I wasn't looking, because this guy should be eat getting eaten up. Also, I forgot to switch to the <laughs> bow when I tried to shoot him. Immediately after I say, I'll just remember to switch to the bow when I'm trying to shoot someone. Look, it'll take a little while to get used to that. More healing. HP is fine, honestly. Catacombs is tough, but we can survive it. Get some more money, get some more Shrines of the Light. Theoretically, what we could do at some point is um, break one of the Shrines of the Light, and then by doing that, we will get all of the money that we've donated back out, and then because we have coins heal, that would heal us a, a whole bunch. I don't know if that's something that I actually want to do, but it's something that we could do. So th I imagine now this is probably going to be the area where I can get some uh, some treasure loot because I can't find the chest anywhere else. I think I know what I want to do here. I think I want to do this. Go! Kill the turtle. Didn't take any damage because I guess his fire attack doesn't hurt me if I'm completely immune to it. Nope. Th this, there's no way that this is worse than the crossbow. I know we lose out on like th three dexterity or something by switching to it, but I have double shot. There's no way that this is worse. I hate that you guys just slide backwards so much. He's active. Yeah. He's in a frickin' uh, saw blade, but he's still not taking any damn damage. Well, I think this is a bad potion. <laughs> potion of lower lightning resist, lovely. Blue potion. What is it? Potion of lower poison resist. Scroll of enchant, enchant my ring. Ooh, minus one luck. Still not that bad. The plus three vitality, plus two strength, plus one speed is more than enough to make this worthwhile to keep using. Okay, guess we're done. I think there, ooh, careful. I think there was a shrine of madness. So I will grab these potions and then try to, try to use them, I guess some value out of them, but we have the opportunity. Is this where I needed to go? No, there's nothing down there. It's up here. I think everything of value was up there. I broke the ground. I guess that's one problem with using the wand of digging, is that you might find yourself in a situation where you literally can't get to some place that you want to go to. Oh my god, if you made it impossible to finish the level, that would suck. Like, oh, congratulations, you broke the ground under the exit. You can't go to the exit anymore or something like that. Yeah, should be a little bit careful about that, huh? Hey, hey, pork chop. Super hidden pork chop, pork chop. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I picked up the rune, pretty sure. Yeah, I got it. I got two runes next to me. We healed. We don't have any books. Got a couple, I still have these freaking lower, I guess I took these in case we could get a, a shrine in the future that we could dump them into and get something out of it. 
We're immune to fire. So if the shrine lights us on fire, we will survive it. And I can give myself the... No, it's boulder protection, which is what I have. I have boulder protection on the helmet, not spike protection on the armor. And I should have definitely switched to this when I was fighting the boss. I said I was going to, and then I completely forgot about it, but that's my bad. Boulder protection we do not need on the next floor. What is the current helmet that we have? Dex, speed, and fire resist, minus one defense. This gives us plus one defense and freezing, which is more important. So this is pretty much our run. We're not gonna get too many more items between now and the water level. I have nothing that lets me swim faster, so we're just gonna have to grab the orb and then book it <laughs> up the water tower, which is gonna suck. But, uh, you know, I do have gloves of being able to grab on a wall, so I could just ride up the wall, get as high as I can, and then from there kind of jump off and get up to the exit. I don't need to kill the boss. The boss is actually pretty tough to kill there, but I do have, you know, a multi-shot bow and 131 arrows. I can kill him if I have to. We'll see. We'll see what happens when we get there. For now, though, I'll add, just end it here so I can split this episode up into two parts because it's super long because Vagante is, like, two and a half hours long doing the secret fo floors, it seems like. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I hope to see you here again for the next... Well, for the conclusion of this run of Vigante.